Hey, today I want to talk about a very close to heart subject matter for many of you. Three keys to stop slicing the ball. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're going to play well. There's no better feeling of hitting good golf shots down the fairway. Years ago, I was frustrated because I lost that. I was confused, I was frustrated, and then I met Mo Norman and learned the single plane swing. And so now, I wake up every day and I know I'm gonna hit it well, I know I'm gonna play well, I know I'm gonna have fun. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're gonna go out there and play great because of the single plane swing. Hey, welcome to the channel today. I know, I know, I know. Slicing the golf ball, nothing worse. Well. Yeah, there's a lot of things worse than slicing a golf ball, but today I want to talk about how I can help you the three major things to stop the slice. Now, it's pretty basic why you slice a golf ball. The face is open to the path at impact. I mean, it's pretty easy, right? The question becomes, why is the face open and how do we get it squaring up? Now, I hate to kind of belabor this point for many of you, those of you who clicked on this title because you're like, I gotta stop slicing it. We teach the single plane swing. The single plane swing itself should help you stop slicing a golf ball. But as I go through this, it'll explain to you why you slice it and how you can kind of fix the slice if you're even a conventional golfer. But the reason you slice is for some reason, and I got a driver here. And by the way, before we get started here, this is the new paradigm driver that Callaway just developed and I'm, if, if, I don't know if you guys know me very well, I don't change equipment very easily. My, my equipment kind of stays where it's at. I don't, once I learn my equipment, it's hard for me to change. So Tim gave this to me yesterday. Took it out on the range, I said, hey, let me check it out, it looks good, and I hit it. Here's the beautiful thing about it. I hadn't been hitting very many golf balls, and the first one I hit off the toe, and the ball went dead straight. I mean, long and straight. And I was like, wow, for a miss hit? Then I hit one really good, of course it went really well, but when you hit it good, they go well. Then he went off the heel and it went dead straight and long. I was like, holy cow. So I just wanted to kind of throw in this new paradigm driver is unbelievable. If you get a chance to hit one, I would go do that. All right, sorry about that. That was a little deviation from my path here, which is why you slice it, deviation from the path. So what happens is when you slice a golf ball and you set up and most of you are probably too close to the golf ball anyway, when you come down, it's very hard for you to get this inside path. Why? Why is it hard for you to get an inside path? Because you don't have any space. So what happens is if you're a conventional golfer and you're close to the ball, and I've heard this instruction so many times, I've heard you can't stand too close to the ball, which is wrong. I've heard you should have your, the club just a little bit from your body, like one fist length from your body, which is wrong. I'm just telling you right now that those things are why you slice it because you stand so close to this long driver that now you're like, how do I get this inside path? And so you fight. You're in a fight with a golf club. And some of you figure it out because what you do is you figure out, well, I'll just jump or I'll just rotate out of the way. You will figure it out if you hit lots of golf balls or willing to stress out your back and do all those things that tour players have learned to do. But I got an easier way to fix your slice. And you can just either follow this or not. Get away from the golf ball a little bit. So the first thing I would do is I would just move away from the ball. Give yourself some space. Now you got some space, why? Well now I have room. See I have, the club has room. When I'm here, I have to get this club coming from an inside path. Well if you're so close to the ball, how do I get it? You have to manipulate. So give yourself some space. So I would say reach. That's the single plane address, but give, give yourself some tilt. Why do I want tilt? Interesting about tilt. Tilt is getting you from the inside. So if I have space and I have tilt, look at my arm path. See, my arm path comes from the inside. So now we're talking how to fix your slice. We fix it with space and path. There's the first thing. Now we have an inside path. Final thing we got to talk about is face angle because now we want to make sure the face is square at impact and square to the path. But here's my point to this, is you have to fix the path first. Too many of you are trying to fix the face first. The face is where you're like, well, I'm slicing it, I'll close the grip. Big mistake, it doesn't work. Um, I'm slicing it, I'll buy a hook face club, doesn't work, it just goes left. So, 
now that I have the proper space, the proper tilt, I produce the proper path, now I'm gonna get my hand in a position that lines up with the face. So now all I have to do is I have to just release. Release meaning let the club square through impact. Okay, now watch this. I'll hit the shot here. Proper address, proper space, proper path, there it comes from the inside, and then proper release produces exactly perfect straight golf shots. Because what happens is this club comes down, because of my tilt, I can square. Those of you that are standing close and two upright, you can't square a club. There is, you're fighting yourself, and that's why you slice the golf ball. If you're one of those guys out there and you're slicing the golf ball, you gotta get away from the ball, you gotta give yourself some room. The club is long, especially that driver. You gotta give yourself some tilt so we have an inside path, and then you gotta let it release, and that squares the face. Three things to fix your slice. Hey, if you're enjoying this content, hit the bell icon, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.